Hi guys, welcome to Learn Electronics Repair. I have a laptop here to look at today. This is a Acer Travelmate IP. Says Core i5 8th generation. So it's not particularly new, but it's not particularly old either. This came from a guy, an acquaintance of mine. He has a business, he repairs cash registers and tills that sort of thing okay he also does website software and such like okay so he says this is just dead doesn't power up when he brought it to me the back is already removed so i left it on charge it's been sitting for a couple of days actually i just noticed now an actual fact that the blue light came on it's gone off so if i press the power button the blue light comes on but nothing else happens hold it in out it goes okay quick touch comes back on so that's what it's doing at the moment i've just connected the charger let's switch the charger on and the orange light or red light comes on so that comes on when the charger is on yeah, so it looks like it's charging and possibly in standby, but it doesn't actually start. So he's done some of the work for me, and as much as he's taken all the screws out. The first thing I'm going to do is just disconnect the battery. The charger is off now, so let's just disconnect it. Usual trick, we'll leave it for five minutes. I'll hold the power button and then keep it held in, just to clear the CMOS and see whether or not that makes any difference. I have some emails to go through, so I'll do that in the meantime. Okay guys, been busy for 20 minutes, so let's just try this now. So we'll reconnect the battery. In fact, actually no, let's uh, just uh, hold in the power button for, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds and then we'll do it. The charger is off at the moment, by the way. It's plugged in, but it's switched off at the mains. Okay, let's see if we get an easy fix. You never know. So, there it is. We can see the indicator. Let's press the button. Blue light comes on straight away. No fan, but that might only come on when it warms up. No picture. Nothing. Okay. Hold the button in again. Light goes out. Right. So, oh, and I saw the fan twitched that time. Let's go again. So, light is on. Yeah, you, when you switch it off or you touch the button, the fan twitches. The LED is still actually on at the moment. off ah, and the fan spun then okay so there's some life in this now oh, it'll twitch on the fan let's try attach an external monitor and see if we see anything on the screen oh the fans come on well i've just been doing that by the way fan started spinning on its own Still nothing on the screen. And it's actually working. So he's got a problem with the screen. I'll just put the camera on, you can see. Yeah, see up there on my other monitor, that's the laptop. Made a chiming noise. So it appears to be working, but the screen isn't working. Okay, we can just uh, shut this back down again. Let's see if the mouse works. Yeah, the mouse is working. Okay. Okay, so shut down now. Yeah, it's off. 
So, laptop boots up, but the screen doesn't work. Okay. Let's disconnect the battery again. This appears to be the connection to the screen. Okay. Connector looks okay. Just try reset that. Switch this back to VGA. Start again. Reconnect the battery. <laughs> That'll help. Okay. Start, lights on, fan is spinning, this time nothing on the screen, reattach that. Yep, it's going to come on. There, okay. So, I wonder if the problem with this is that the backlight on the screen has failed, basically. So, we have a picture, we just can't see it, yeah? Good way to test this, then, from what I've found, is shine a bright torch on the screen very close and see if we can see any icons which we see on the... On the other monitor, you know, there's anything actually on here. And I would have to say, no, I can't. But what I don't see, is in fact, if I just shut this down, I don't see any like flash when it boots up on the screen. So I think the backlighting is not working for whatever reason. No, I don't see anything happen. Okay, so as far as I can see, the backlight doesn't work on the screen, it doesn't light up. I have this monitor, as you can see, the attached VGA. So, I'm looking at the device manager on the laptop, I can see I have screen adapters, video adapters. So it's using Intel graphics, that's embedded in the CPU, it doesn't have a separate GPU. And if I go down here, I can see monitors. And I have monitor PMP generic, which is this one. So it doesn't see the screen, basically. We know it's seated properly. So I guess if I open up around the screen surround, I might be able to have a look at least to see what screen this is. Maybe able to make some more checks there, or other option would be, say, to get another screen. So let's have a look. Okay, so this just clipped off. I just started in one corner. I actually used this thing. I had this amongst the kit of tools a long time ago, actually. GB5A, the opening tool. I find this to be rather useful. It's very flexible. It is metal, so you could scratch things, but it seems to have a nice edge on it, so it effectively goes inside nicely, and yeah, that worked very well, so... Maybe, if you can find one of these things, GB58. So, looks like we have four screws, basically. Okay. Let's see what screen this actually is. Well, the first thing I notice, there is a connector at this end as well. So I should try resetting that, I would say. And then we have hopefully some port numbers on that will mean something. Okay, but this could be the problem. Well, it looks okay. I mean, nothing visibly damaged on that, I don't think. A little bit of 
Corrosion, maybe? Give it a wipe and stick it back on. I don't think this will make any difference, but you know, why not? Okay, yeah, let's try. We'll just reconnect the battery then, let's see what it does now. Does this even light up? Doesn't seem to. Well, in fact, guys, it's now working. So the problem with that one was the connector to the screen. Yeah, screen connector faulty. Or just a bad connection. It may be worth looking for a replacement cable I mean it could be intermittent I have it working now I think it's worth having a look to see if we can get one well I'm not sure I can see exactly the right one but there are various ones around so Acer P2510 is the model and there seems to be a number of uh, cables okay I mean it's possible there are a number of different screens I'll give this back to uh, the guy and I'll just tell him that if it fails again, we'll get a replacement cable, I think. But other than that, I'd say it's working. Okay, so, repair done. I'll stick it back together. Hope you enjoyed it and I'm sure the customer mirror will be very happy. It's nice to see these fairly simple repairs from time to time, but profitable, okay? So, comment down there. Would you give it back to the customer? Would you replace the cable? Yeah, but then you would have to wait anyway, to be honest. Just let me know. And I look forward to seeing you all soon again on Learning Electronics Repair. Ciao for now, guys.